thing I'm going to try to do today and get this right up, written up for you. And I told you guys about this. Let me show you. I got the uh, switch, right? I'm going to go in and try to cut these wires and make it so that the, uh, the Jeep can disable all of the traction control. So ESP, traction control, all that garbage will turn off. Uh, and I'm going to put it onto a switch so that when I go off-road, even in too high, I can turn everything off. And it doesn't matter if I'm at 20 miles an hour, 40 miles an hour, 100 miles an hour. The Jeep will do what I tell it to. It, the computer won't take over and start applying brakes and doing all kinds of funny stuff. Now, with all that said, my caveat to you guys and a disclaimer for me showing you how to do this. I'm not at fault if you do something stupid and, and wreck. Okay? Turning off traction control obviously means that right when you start sliding it's not going to try to automatically correct for you um, you lose all of those nice features and they are good to have on rainy days or in snow if you're trying to go down the road and you don't want to slide off in the ditch and this that's the reason I'm doing it with a switch and not just cutting the wire completely the switch I can turn it on and off so uh, that's my disclaimer use this at your own risk I have gotten the center console apart to get down to the wire that we need to cut and add the switch to let me just tell you, getting the shifter knob off, <laughs> um, it ain't easy. You think you're going to rip the whole thing apart, but you're not. There's no special trick to it other than just brute strength. Let me show you. So here's the shifter knob, right? Four-wheel drive shifter knob. This little piece comes off the bottom uh, when you pull it off. The, the handle itself, I don't know if you can see this in here or not, but there's a notch right there and another notch right there. And literally, the way this works is you just pull straight up. There's no set screws. There's no nothing you take off. You just have to pull with everything you've got. I had two hands on it, pulling and grunting and groaning to get that off. It is not easy, and you feel like you're going to break something, but you won't, and it will come off. Once you get that off, then you can take off the um, plastic housing that goes around that thing. Right? You can pull this guy out of there. Uh, I had to move the shifter knob into neutral and then back and forth to try to get it around the hole. Once I did that, then I was able to pull the whole thing out. If you've got a manual, it'd probably be even easier because this gated shifter will only go in certain spots. But um, then, I don't know if you can see this. Hannah, can you hold this light? I got down into um, the wiring harness here. Had to cut a couple of zip ties. There's this wire, I have no idea what this goes to. Don't know what any of these wires are for, really, to be honest with you. I'm kind of nervous about cutting into these wires, but on a 2016 Jeep with 9,000 miles on it. But I can't stand traction control keeping me from being able to make it through stuff. So I've pulled all of this, um, this fabric stuff off this wiring harness, and I believe I have located the purple wire. I don't know if you can see this here. This purple wire with a blue tracer. So um, the only thing left to do is to just, you know, cross my fingers and I'm going to cut this wire, turn the Jeep on and see if the traction control is off. If it is indeed off, then I will wire that into a switch, drill a hole through that little plastic thing and I'm going to mount me a switch right up here between my four-wheel drive shifter and my tr um, transmission shifter. And that way I can simply reach up and flip that switch and I will be in 100% traction control off mode if i cut the wrong one i guess the worst thing i can do is um i'll you know solder it back together and tape it up and and uh, move on with life and try another one but there are a couple of purple wires in here anyway let's uh let's give it a shot so this is the purple with the light blue if you look carefully there's another one in here it's purple but it's got a dark blue so we want to make sure we've got the one with the light blue so let's cut it and then um we'll hook up We'll uh, turn the ignition on and see if it cut the right one. I don't have anything else in there, do I, dear? I cannot see past your hand. I don't think so. Hope not. <laughs> All right. Well, no going back Let's now. Cut. Let's turn the... Uh, shut that door for me, if you would. All the way on? No, not all the way on yet. Well, I've got two of the lights on. That's interesting. I don't know if you can see that, but it's missing the... There's another light down here that I thought would come on, saying ESP off. Okay, well... Let's start it and see. Well, it comes on when I turn it on. Let's see if it stays that way. Nope. Well, it has ABS and traction control lights on, and I'm in... Uh, yeah, now pushing this button doesn't do anything now. 
but it must be the right wire because I have that ABS and traction control lights now on so that wire is cut and it seems to uh, be working <laughs> that that may be it so all I gotta do now is hook that switch in place and we should be good We just finished cutting the wires and uh, I soldered in the connectors on the two ends of this uh, switch. So it's just a basic simple switch. I picked it up from AutoZone. I ran some wires from the, the prongs of the switch down into this purple wire with a light blue tracer. Soldered the ends on. And uh, let me just show you here real quick what it does. The ignition's off. This is turned flipped to on, which is completing the circuit. So the, the like the electricity or whatever, it goes through here through the switch and back down and continues through the wire. So the wire thinks it's still connected. So we turn the ignition on and everything should be good, right? We should have no lights. And as you see, once all the basic lights go away, traction control is not on, which is awesome. Now, if I flip the switch on here while the lights, while the, the ignition is still on, we flip that switch, now look at the dash. We now have traction control turned off permanently with the ABS off. That is absolutely awesome. Um, now, one thing to note is if you notice the key's still on, if I flip this back to on, traction control lights stay on, okay? The only way to clear that back out in the computer is you turn the ignition completely off and then turn it back on with the switch still in the on position and your lights will not be on. So now we have traction control back enabled. So. It works, I'm quite excited. All I gotta tell you is pulling the four-wheel drive shifter knob off is a pain. Um, so you feel like you're gonna rip the thing in half, keep pulling as hard as you can, it will come off. The other thing is when you're cutting into this wiring harness, be really, really careful. There's a whole bunch of wires in there. I have no idea what they go to, um, but I'm sure there's some important stuff in there. I know that one of them, just from some stuff I read online, the purple wire with a dark blue line is for the, the um, airbag. So if you cut it, it's not going to explode on you, but it, it'll get a warning on the dash. Just solder the wire back together. If you cut the wrong one, no harm, no foul. Um, so just be careful. The only thing left for us to do now is uh, I'm going to run some electrical tape around my soldered connections. I'm going to uh, tape up this, this wiring harness, get it back clean, and then we'll drill a hole in the plastic cover that goes back over this housing or cowl. And then we'll put this switch up through it. I'll probably end up placing the switch somewhere down into here. And then when I go down into four low or even in two high for now, for if I wanted, I can flip this and turn my contraction control completely off, uh, which is way better than the partial off you get with this. I don't know how big that, if I can get this thing over here. I probably should have done this before I connected the wires. There we go. All finished up. Uh, finished product here, we just drilled the hole. Um, Jenny and I put this, this switch through here and then just tighten this wing nut up and it's now traction control is on. So I can start the Jeep. And all the lights should go off just as they should and everything looks normal. Now all I have to do is flip the switch and wham, bam, thank you. I've got uh, traction control completely turned off and I'm in two wheel drive high range, which is phenomenal. Um, this button does nothing now. I wonder if I press and hold it if that does. No. Now, um, we'll drop this guy down into, uh, look at that. You go to four wheel drive, check out the dash lights. Four wheel drive, I now have both lights solid in four wheel drive and ABS light on, so I have absolutely no contraction control. I'll put the traction control uh, switch back on on. You can see everything stays on just like I said it would. Um, if we turn the engine off and it cycles the power, turn it back on and we should have no lights anymore. So fantastic. It works. Um, now the next step is take it off road and we'll get it in something slick conditions, maybe mud. I hate mud, but we'll try it anyway. Or maybe we'll find us a steep hill or some rocks um, and we'll, uh, we'll light up the tires and see if, if, if the computer takes over. So with that, like and subscribe guys.